how COVID seems to affect the heart, even in people who don't have a some sort of previous medical condition that compromises the heart, they're seeing a lot of instances of either heart damage, um, organ failure, things like this. Um, so there's a question of why that is happening. And there's a couple explanations that people are looking into now in more detail. So part of it is just that the lungs and the heart work in very close harmony with each other. The lungs are part of what brings oxygen in the, into the body and brings it into the bloodstream. Again, the heart then circulates that blood and that oxygen throughout the body. So if the lungs are having to work harder or something is gumming up the works like this virus can do, the heart has to work even harder than it usually does to circulate the limited amount of oxygen that it now has. So that's part of it is that just physical strain that's placed on the heart when the lungs aren't doing as well. So that's one possibility. There's another possibility that the virus is actually um, attacking the heart directly. So the ACE2 receptor, which the virus uses to infect cells, it's like the doorway into the cell for the virus, um, don't just appear on respiratory cells, but appear in cells throughout the body and are actually better known for how they interact with the cardiovascular system um, because they play a role in regulating blood pressure. Um, and they also serve as a kind of anti-inflammatory. So these receptors react to cytokines, which are inflammatory molecules, when they're circulating in the body in response to some sort of immune upset. Um, and they actually act to mitigate that damage that could be caused by cytokines when they're trying to attack some sort of pathogen, some sort of debris, something that's not supposed to be in the body, but end up hurting organs, et cetera, instead. So normally the ACE2 receptor serves those roles. Um, but when, if the virus is interfacing with ACE2 receptors in the heart, there's a possibility that they can no longer serve that anti-inflammatory function and immune activity going on in the body could damage the organ more so than it usually would. Um, and obviously, if the virus is directly infecting heart cells, that's also causing damage in that way directly by just through the process of viral replication replication that we see also in the respiratory tract. So if the virus truly is attacking heart cells directly, that would mean that an antiviral would probably be the best course of treatment, at least the most aggressive course of treatment that you could give. Now, if the damage to the heart is more caused by an amplified immune response that is being somehow dampened by the infection, then an immunosuppressant might actually help patients recover more quickly. Now, if you give an immunosuppressant when you shouldn't give an immunosuppressant, that could leave the body open to more damage. So this is a really important question to work out. Wrapped up in all of this is how ARBs and ACE inhibitors relate to COVID-19 patients. So these are both medications that help to regulate high blood pressure by widening blood vessels. And it's unclear because they interact with similar systems that are all related to the ACE2 receptor. Um, although ACE inhibitors typically target the ACE1 receptor, which is related, but not the same. Um, it's unclear whether these drugs might help patients or hurt patients who get infected with COVID-19. There's studies being done to address both questions. And in the coming weeks, we should have a better picture of what that landscape looks like.